Good morning from one of the most beautiful free campsites I've ever found so far. Uh, <laughs> we're, uh, it's just the morning time, we're just kind of getting up. We're gonna start working on the bus in a little bit. And uh, we're, uh, we've been playing catch, or I should say fetch with the, <laughs> with the dog. He's been jumping in this cold ass water over here. So, everybody's off to a good start this morning. How are you guys doing? Let's go. Four wheel drive. There we Operation Leaky Bus. Operation Kill the Bus. <laughs> is underway. The thing that's leaking is, is right down on in here. So we're gonna take this uh, this part of it off and uh, try and access it from the inside. And uh, got the inside already. Alright, so I'm gonna undo this and take out this whole air hose to the uh, to the turbo and uh, Gonna undo the bracket and then that shiny one up there, badge is gonna take that off. That will allow easier access to replace that uh, busted out o ring. Alright, things just uh, got a little bit serious. Looks like we have to take the turbo off to access this one little bolt and this one little o ring. Alright. Okay, see these? Yep. These are the bolts for here. The turbo. Now we got to take the turbo off to get in behind there because we're going way back in there because it's uh, high pressure oil lines for the high pressure pump. That's what we're after. So we're and the only if you're in a pickup, you can do it by taking a filter housing off. But we are not in a pickup, so we don't have that option. So you got to take this off. But we're trying not to move these pipes because these ones don't seal down there at the manifolds very well. So, um, and these bolts are hard, you have to take it easy. Now you can't put nothing on them because you put easy um, copper coat or anything, they're gonna fall out, so they gotta go in dry. So that's what we're doing, we're taking this all apart and then we're gonna take this turbo off, which comes as a unit, because um, we got the intake off here, we're gonna take the exhaust off here and then the two, um, exhaust coming from the heads, right? Because this drives the turbo, these two, and that's the exhaust going out to the back of the truck, right? And the wastegate's right here, but it works on pressure from the intake, so we don't have to worry about taking any lines off for that. The only thing we're going to have to watch is the oil O-ring, but hopefully we'll be all right. And then we'll lift this hole out of the way, and then that should give us enough access to get into the other one into the oil line we're after. Mm -hmm. It's not a fun job, but that's <laughs> just the way it is. These plugs on the back of the head, these are the ones that you take off to drain the oil out so it doesn't go in the cylinders. These ones here. So just remember that. That's what that plugs for over there. Because this is Huey injectors and they're fired by oil. So that's what those plugs are for. You take them out before you take the injectors out. And that way you don't get no oil in the, in the cylinders. If you get oil in, it's not a big deal. You crank the engine over three or four times and it'll go away. But that's here and there. That's just something else while you're at it. Yeah. And there's three bolts that hold the turbo down here. So we're going to take that off and we'll take this. We're going to take this piece out of the way, this Y, and that'll give us enough room to get the turbo without bothering the exhaust, I think. So that's my plan. Yeah, this is a little not. bit beyond my expertise level it's not when I was by myself. It's not expertise, it's just that you have to have a bad attitude. <laughs> but did we tell them about how good the campsite was? Break that cedar gasket there underneath, we've got to watch the O-rings. Okay. So when you pick it up, when you pick it up, make sure you just pick it up and back it right out. 
that's it. Just back it out. Yeah, just get it. That one's in the way, isn't it? Oh, no, there you go. Just like that. You guys would be very proud of me. I'm yeah, in the engine. Very much. Yeah. This is that wire we had to get off here, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, so when you get this out, what you do is you look here and see the impeller. If there's any shiny marks on the housing, if there's shiny marks, that means it's hitting. That's not good. And you take and put your fingers on both sides and try to wiggle it, and it shouldn't move. It'll move a little bit, right? But not that much. Now this is the other side. You can't see it, but it's way in there, right? Yep. That's all you can see. And this is, um, what it does is it, this is your jake brake, basically, right? It's When you, when you uh, start it up and it runs, it goes a noise, because this is shut, right? Yep. You got to have turbo boost and weather, and it'll it'll turn itself off, right? Because that's what this senses cold weather, and it'll turn, open up the orifice, and then it'll put this shut when it's cold, and it'll start up and it'll go. That sound. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. Interesting. And you make sure there's no big gobs of oil. A little bit trace is normal. That's normal, right? And see this. Everybody looks at this and says, "What the hell." This is the brilliant engineers that take and put an EGR system on a diesel. That is a blow-by from your engine going back in and getting burnt. That's what that dirt is, so don't worry about it. Unless it's tons, but that little bit, don't worry about it. That's just dirt from the from your EGR, because you're putting dirty exhaust back in the engine. I need not say no more. <laughs> okay, so that's the rear of it, and it's all good. Just make sure that this here moves when you have it out, because that's got to move. So if you need, you check and put some oil or something yeah, on there. Yeah, it's a little squeaky. Make sure it's all good. Yep. But other than that, these things are not very... These have to be rebuilt under ideal conditions. So doing it in your garage is not really ideal conditions. So you just have to <coughs> suck it up and buy another one. All right, now we got the uh, turbo. Is it working? Yeah, we is it got, working? you hear the flash it in there. Okay, see that nut right there and you see this, we'll put this right there. Yep. See this, this O-ring there? Yep. This two cent O-ring? Yeah. That's what broke. All this work for a two cent O-ring. <laughs> now you gotta be very careful because this is what you're called a high pressure oil pump, right? So now, this is uh This, you got to be very careful with this. So we'll break clean this all off. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's the fuel pump. That's the fuel pump there. Yeah? Yeah, that's the fuel pump. I'm surprised this thing ran so good. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah, that's what we're after. That broken, that's what given all this oil here. Yeah. And believe me, it was kind of funny because he was putting 5W40, 5W40 in it. Then he put 1540 and it almost quit. Yeah, it, it, we almost uh, fixed it just yeah. by changing the oil up, but yeah. uh, we'll do a proper repair and fix that uh, two cent O-ring for all this. Uh... But anyway, that's a high pressure oil pump there. That's what that is. And um, the electric solenoid there is what turns it on and off. Now this, the problem with this is you can't, when you crank it over, you have no idea how much oil pressure it's got. So it's sort of a system in a system, right? This takes engine oil and cranks it up to about 450 degree pounds. So that's a big deal. That's why they call it a high pressure oil pump. And that is teed into the valve covers right here. There's, there's a, a common rail there that feeds the injectors right there. Yep. That line, you'll check that line, it'll go right down that pump. That's what we're after, boys and girls. All right, just to show you guys how deep <laughs> See, that's what happened. It backed off, right? Oh, is that right? It blew the O-ring off. Dang. So we're using uh, three different extensions on here just to pull this uh, bolt what out. What you need is 10-foot arms. Is what you need. <laughs> go, go gadget arms. Okay, so you look in there, and there's oil there, right? Yeah. There's no springs or nothing. What a lot of work for this. Man, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> so uh, how much is that O-ring? Maybe 10 cents. 10 cents. There it is right there. 10 cents. 10 cents for that little O-ring. Wow. And it's just, That's the thing it, just, man. it blew out right there. Yep. Wow. And we, a good thing is we have those uh, on us, I believe. Oh, God, you man. 
Can you imagine, Jack? <laughs> can you imagine the bill on this one, Jack? Oh, God, no, I can't. God almighty. Why <laughs> See, did I save you? It's unbelievable. That's true. Uh, uh, steak dinner on me, Badge. <laughs> See, this is the issue. Like, you know, I know there's other people that take their car to a mechanic. I've done it myself as well. I remember I had, um, in, in a car, there was a small little gasket thing connected to the coolant and it was on the basically like the firewall inside the car but there was no access right here so they had to do like six hours of, of shop labor to change like a five dollar part and it cost me like eight hundred dollars it was insane but that's crazy eh? coffee break oh yeah that's crazy yeah, it's coming down too. We're Look at gonna... that! It's even raining, and we don't really give a shit, you know. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I'm gonna cl I'm gonna close up the bus because I do yeah. give a small shit, oh, just because uh, we got all kinds of blah, parts and things out. But uh, uh, we're never rain delay, Wait, rain break. We'll be back in a minute. All right, you guys see that? That's the uh, that's the failure. It wasn't the engine? It was the O-ring. And this thing is less than. Definitely less than five bucks, probably like ten cents, and uh, we replaced it. Well, we replaced uh, on the new one. Badge added some grease. And that sucker's gonna go right back on there. Right back in there. Yep. All right, so we are just uh, working in reverse. We got the uh, turbo back on. You have to do the Y pipe intake, tubey thing, and uh, as you can see, I am helping out. Okay. With this, uh, so now what we're gonna fix do here. is cheat. Okay, so hold that light. This is copper coat, only copper coat, not silicone, but just copper coat. You put a little bit around here and you stop the exhaust leaks because it's always going to leak, right? So you just put a little dab around there. A little dab will do you. Yeah, just a little dab around there. Okay, so you put a little bit there, and then we put this into where's that piece? A white pipe? Yeah. That's right here. Check this now. You got to make sure this pin's in there, right? Yeah. So you don't put no silicone in there. You put this, this pin's got to line up with that there, right? You put that in there, like that in there. <laughs> oh, here's a progress uh, report. We got the turbo back on. Got the O-ring back on, shouldn't be leaking anymore. Now we get to put this pain in the butt. This flame breather see tube. What it, uh, does. Yeah, you wanna start it up? Yeah. Alright. Let's start it. Looks like we're good. No more oil leaking out of there. Job well done, sir. It was good, eh? Yeah. Wait, did you see the where we're stuck doing this service call? <laughs> did you see this? Huh? Here, Come let's on, let's show you guys how oh, beautiful. How you beautiful this. <laughs> oh man, this is this is terrible. Isn't it? So huh? this is this is what we're dealing with here. This is what we're dealing with here. This is a setup. Structures. This is uh, Badge's rig over here. Uh, L's inside hanging out. But look at how beautiful this is. Nice this spot is for a nice spot to fix an O-ring. No kidding, eh? <laughs> Life's tough. Our life is terrible, Josh. Oh man. Yeah, that thing is, what a there. great day. Look, see, I was working on it. I got, I got myself all dirty. He's doing good. He did a I know. Good job. I got my outfit dirty. I got, got my hands his dirty. dirty. Yeah. Billy will be proud of you. Look at the, the bad dog is jumping still. <sighs> Feels good to work on your own stuff. Of course, you know, with the help of someone else. But okay, if you so can't find someone to help you work on stuff, on it's a very, very satisfying feeling. Raid news. Hands are clean. Dan the Adventure Bus is ready to hit the road. No more oil leak. Been a good boy? Yeah? No, I don't know. I don't know. The jury's still out on this one. <laughs> Badge, what are you cooking up?
Sloppy Joe's, man. Let's see. Sloppy Joe's, look at that. Whoa. Doesn't that just make it? Yep, yeah, Sloppy That's... Joe's and chili. That looks good. I know. Yeah. I thought so too. Yeah, looks great. Tomato mm -hmm. sauce, hamburger, onions, peppers, and tomato sauce. Yep, we're eating good tonight. We're eating good tonight. <laughs> well, we're not eating. We're trying, just barely trying to survive, but we'll <laughs> take it while we can. Uh, looks like the uh, the little pup here is enjoying the uh, the variety pack really of dog good. food, huh?